So for grasshoppers, we have a number of contributing factors as to whether they're in high populations or in low populations. The biggest contributing factor is an elongated egg laying period in the fall. So we get conditions that are conducive, so warmer temperatures or uh, a later time until we get our first frosts and freezes in October, that just lengthens the amount of time that those grasshopper females can lay eggs in the fall. So that's the first big one. And then another big contributing factor is in the spring when the eggs are hatching. Young grasshoppers are incredibly um, susceptible to heavy raindrop impact. So really hard, heavy rains right after hatch will really knock down that grasshopper population. Also, uh, just plain damp conditions right after hatch makes them susceptible to their pathogens that naturally occur. So that's one way we can decrease uh, those populations is with that moisture that's going on. In terms of what's going on in your yard, uh, if you had high populations last fall, uh, you wanna be scouting this spring during that late May and into June timeframe when those eggs are gonna be hatching. Those eggs um, will produce tiny little grasshoppers. The best thing about grasshoppers is you're not trying to find something drastically different from what the adult looks like. The nymphs look just like the adults, smaller. They might be slightly different colored compared to the adult form, but still, they're gonna look like a grasshopper to you. Uh, check areas um, adjacent to unmanaged sites. Uh, so unmanaged sites where they weren't watered last year, they would have suffered from the drought, those grasshoppers would have moved into uh, watered lawns, gardens, those types of areas are where you're gonna wanna scout for those little grasshoppers uh, when they start hatching. And the importance of scouting now is they're really easy to control when they're small. Uh, compared to when they are adults or those late instar uh, nymphs where they're much more difficult to control or take more chemical if you're going to go the chemical route to control them. For cultural practices, uh, surprisingly one of the best things you can do is mow your yard. Uh, when you're mowing those areas, those grasshoppers do get caught by the blades, they get bagged if you're bagging. Uh, that's just a great way to knock down some of the populations um, without having to do anything extra. So if your lawn is uh, healthy and growing, that'll help you knock down those grasshoppers. Uh, also, in terms of when you are thinking about using an insecticide, uh, pay really close attention to the label. Make sure you're applying it to the correct location where it's labeled for use. So if it's a garden product, make sure it's going in the garden. If it's a lawn product, make sure it's going on the lawn. Um, target those areas appropriately. Uh, best thing about small grasshoppers is they are fairly susceptible to our common homeowner products. Uh, so like those permethrins, um, pyrethrins, and those types of products will work well for those.